Oh my God, you guys. Hey, it's not a reading. It's not a reading. It's not a reading. Um, I told you guys I was going to start weekly readings for week four tonight, which I had every intention of doing. But I went, wound up in jail. Hold on a second. Oh, my God. The police came to do a child welfare checkup um, because my ex-husband called the the um, cops. You know, that's been the second time in a month, right? Right? A child welfare check, right? Well, so then the police say my daughter says she wants to hurt herself. I, she was crying earlier and had me come get her from her softball practice, but she said she was okay. She wanted to talk to her dad. So I gave, I gave her the phone, let her talk to her dad. And I said, um, just make sure not to, you know, go overboard because you know how he is. Well, then freaking 30 minutes later, the police or 20 minutes ish, the police show up, say they want to do a child welfare check. Well, my, so my son's in there playing Xbox, chilling, doing what he normally does. My daughter's out there talking to the police. The police say that she wants to hurt herself. I asked her several times earlier that night. She says she didn't want to. I, I think they were just doing the same shit CPS was doing last year with the five visits in a year with the last CPS worker. The other four workers were fine, but that last, that fifth worker was demanding that my son wanted to harm himself and he didn't. Never said my daughter did, but said my son did uh, with CPS with the fifth visit. The four, first four visits were just fine, but the fifth one, nay, nay. That worker was nasty. She was nasty. I could sense her spirit. She was just nasty. So this police officer, both of these police officers were the same as that way. Same as that way. Nasty, nasty, nasty spirits. You could just sense it. So, um, so then I told one police officer, female police officer, Chickadoo, I was like, you didn't even talk to my son. So then she's like, oh, we'll pull him out. So, you know, he's in there. He came out. Before you know it, the other police officer came over, came over and said, okay, well, she says she wants to harm herself. I was like, well, she didn't tell me that earlier. And he said, well, he's, she's telling me that. And I, he said, but he's like, all we got to do is call Hemsey. Hemsey has to be called per standard protocol. Call Hemsey. You, you, since you are the parent and guardian, just say, I refuse. Um, I refuse services because I told him. I was like, listen, they've been going to counseling over a year. Over a year, we had the crisis center number and everything. If they wanted to harm themselves, we would have called. And we've never had to use the crisis center number ever a day in our life, ever. I was like, and he's like, oh, he's like, well, since you have access to resources and you, because I was like, I can show you, you know, I have it in my wallet and everything. Um, he's like, then we're fine. So when Hemsy gets here, just tell him you refuse the services and we'll everybody go on our, mer our merry way. So I said, okay. So Hemsy gets there. And he, the other chickadoo female officer brings my son out. All of a sudden says, now he wants to hurt himself. All of a sudden now, after 20, or 20 minutes or so. So we've got both of them in the Hemsy, Hemsy um, vehicle, both of my kids. I refused. But then the male police officer comes over and says, no, we have to take them anyways. Um, we have to take them. I was like, but I refuse the services, the Hemsy services. Um, and he said, we have to take them anyways. And I said, no. So then I get pissed because they were going against free will. They were going against free will. He lied. He lied. He lied. He said, which he, he said one thing, they did a complete different thing. Now they have my children in the back of a Hemsy. So then I said, no, that's not what you told me. That's not the standard protocol. That's not, that's not okay. So then he said, what are you talking back to me? Are you getting lit with me? He said, you're disturbing the peace. You're under arrest. So then he arrests me. As you can, I don't know if y'all can see, I've got freaking bruises and it's swollen right here on my left side. You can see right there. And he's, he, look, he did that too. Um, Basically fought me, physically fought me into the damn police car because I he refused to read, uh, he refused to tell me my rights uh, when he was arresting me. I said, no. I was like, I'm not getting this police car until you read me my rights. I was like, and I shouldn't even be getting this police car anyways because you're taking, he said, well, we're taking your kids. They need uh, mental health help. We're taking them to uh, the hospital for mental health treatment. Um, 
And so when I was in the jail, he told the other officers they were going to Huntsville Hospital. Well, I called. I literally just got out of jail, you guys. 1.30 a.m. I literally just got out of jail, uh, bonded out. And I've got to be back in the morning at 8, 8.30. But, see, as y'all can see, I'll show you. And my charge is disturbing the peace on my own property because they were taking my children against my will. I refuse services. That's on you, buddy. That's on you. You. That's on you. Well, I refuse. I am the full legal guardian of these children. I have full custody. As you can see. So... So I finally was able to bond out. The magistrate called. I was able to bond out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear Lord. Thank you, magistrate. Just saying. Um, but so then I get home and I'm immediately calling Huntsville Hospital. Um, I called Huntsville Hospital, Maine. I called pediatrics. Nobody has my kids. Nobody, either of my kids. Nobody has either of my kids. So then they said, well, we don't have a behavioral health unit for pediatrics here called Decatur, which is the next city over. But Huntsville is a much larger city than Decatur. So I said, okay. So I called down there to the ER at Decatur and the behavioral health unit down there. Neither one of them have my kids. They don't have my kids. Who has my kids? I want to know who the hell has my kids. Somebody needs to tell me who the hell has my kids. Right freaking now. And I mean it. I mean it. I have been calling my ex-husband, blowing up his damn phone. I have been calling, calling, calling him since I got home. I had to get a cab to freaking get home.